Hey, beer tubers, Ryan back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me once again. Today I'm going to look at a beer from Great Divide Brewing Company. This is their 17th anniversary, what is it, Wood Age Double IPA. I, I forget the total name for this one, it's kind of long, but um, first I believe Great Divide beer that, I'm going to, that I've reviewed on my show. The reason for that is is they just finally got to San Diego late last year. I think it was October or November. So we finally just started to get their beers here. Unfortunately, now they're pulling out of uh, states around the country, but um, I'm thankful that they're here in San Diego. I can now get Yeti and OKH Yeti and all those other great beers that they make and finally get to try those. So, And get to finally try an anniversary beer from them. They say on the label it's based off their Denver Pale Ale. Never had it. Uh, they aged the IPA in French and American oak, and they're using English and American hops. That's about all it says, other than it's a 10% beer. So it's a big beer. It's good for wood aging, but you typically don't see IPAs that are aged on wood, even though that's pretty much how they did it when they shipped it from England to India back in the day and where they got their names. I mean, the beer that started out didn't end up, you know, as hoppy as it was at the start. So I'm thinking maybe that's kind of what they're trying to simulate, plus add some nice oak characteristics, and hopefully maybe they dry hopped it after it came out of the barrels for a nice aroma, but appearance-wise, very, very clear. Uh, that's just straight-up copper color right there. It doesn't get more coppery than that. Finger and a half head. Mostly small bubbles, slightly off-white, kind of yellow tinge to it. Let's get the rum on. Oh yeah, I like that rum. That's really nice. Uh, sweet malts, caramel malts, big time. Plus nice uh, bit of like an oak character. Definitely picking up some oak. Some slight vanilla with the, with the malt character on there. It makes it nice. Nice sweet, but... You do smell hops. You do get some kind of earthy floral hop character going on. Uh, maybe a touch. Oh, there's an, there's a real nice, almost uh, like lemongrass character. Maybe they're using East Kent Goldings because it kind of gives it almost like a lemon meringue kind of uh, aroma to the beer. Really nice. Yeah, floral, grassy, lemony. Maybe a slight citrus note on it to go with a really nice malt. So, so far, so good. Looking forward to this one. Cheers. Oh, yeah, that's a nice beer. Um, if you're a hop head, you're not going to be blown away by the hop content of this beer. I, w I wouldn't recommend it if you're just looking for a real super hoppy beer or a typical IPA. This one is uh, has much more dimensions going on. It definitely skews a little more to the English side because of that factor. You don't get as much upfront bitterness. In fact, you kind of get the malt up front and the hops kind of linger around. You get a nice, dry, uh, very clean aftertaste so far, at least on this beer. This is probably sitting at about between 45 and 50 degrees right now. Up front, you get some nice real nice sweet caramel toffee notes there is some of that kind of woody vanilla notes that come in with those malts and then you pick up on a bit of a, like a sharp kind of grassy hot bitterness that kind of finishes out get a bit of like a that lemon character again coming with the hops through the end uh, it's really nicely brewed beer from Great Divide yeah, up front, that caramel note's just really nice. And I keep picking up more of that kind of ci light citrus character with the hops. Lemon, a little bit of a sort of bitter grapefruit. Not too grapefruity, though. Um, this would make a, actually a very nice dessert beer. Something you could pair with like, like a tart dessert. Uh, lemon meringue, perfect for this one, I would think. Key lime pie, something like that. That's kind of lighter and it has a bit of tartness. I think it might accentuate kind of the hop notes in this one and the caramel should blend really nicely with it. As I drink on it some more, picking up more of the alcohol notes on it. I mean it's a 10% beer. It's a very big beer 
and it's a beer where you still want the hops to be present, you can't age it too long. Because um, they did pick up some nice vanilla character with with the, the oak wood that they were using for it. So it, it's still there. It's not as bad as um, some of the other bigger IPAs. I'd say it's probably about on par with Hop Slam, I'm guessing. It's right around there. Not as bad as, say, Sierra Nevada Hoptimum, I think, had way too much alcohol for for that beer. But also the fact that they're aging this one a bit kind of takes away the hops, kind of get more alcohol coming through, but uh, would make a nice dessert kind of IPA. Um, I'd be curious to see how this one would age. Would the hops completely go away? It would just turn into a barley wine with nice vanilla notes? Not entirely sure on this one. So I think you do want to drink this one fresh. Try it with you know the, the most amount of hot bitterness and character that you're going to get with it. That I'm going to go with a B plus for Great Divide 17th anniversary. Their wood aged India Pale Ale. Um, really nice beer though. Uh, really interesting. If you want hops but you don't want to be blown away with bitterness and you want some more interesting characteristics going on in it, I recommend checking this one out. It's kind of got more of an East Coast tinge mixed with the British style hop varieties. So if you like that type of beer, pick it up. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.